In today's video, I'll be showing you how to airbrush these acrylic artist paints. These are for like painting on canvases and stuff like that. You can buy these at Walmart. They're ten dollars, and you get twelve colors. And that's what they look like. all types of collars in here each one is 12 milliliters so that's about so you get a little bit more paint than the tester ones the tester ones is only 7.4 milliliters so you get a little bit of paint in here You can use and make these to washes so where these things are really opaque and they cover really well. You got all types of colors in here, and these you got the main colors of the color chart, and so you can mix these to any color you really want to. And you can get like a color wheel and be able to mix these because these are the primary colors. So a lot of these are primary colors. So I'm gonna airbrush them on these spoons right here. I have some that's a uh, primer on them. I just used, I airbrushed this with a Badger Steinomet Stino Res primer. Some has one coat of primer, some have two coats of primer. I'm also gonna be airbrushing them on some regular plastic spoons with no primer on them. I will be diluting these with this water alcohol mixture I made. It's 30% alcohol, 70% water. I just used a 91% alcohol here. The alcohol, you can use just regular water with these, but the alcohol tends to make them stick a little better, it, it seems. So I will be using the I, I Water Eclipse HPCS. It has a 0.5 millimeter needle in it. So let's show you how to mix them. I use a digital scale to weigh my paints out and that's how I mix them. This thing's really handy and it makes mixing paint really, really easy. It takes like the guess and all of it. But mixing paint ain't rocket science unless you're trying to get a specific color. But I just use this scale because that's what I like. I also use these little cups. You can buy a hundred of them from Walmart for like a dollar or something. They're really nice for mixing. And you can just like the cup on there and tear it out here's what these little tubes are really handy as well they're easy to squeeze will we be mixed we'll be using this alcohol uh thinner here we'll be mixing this two parts thinner one part paint so if you're wearing it in grams it would be two grams of paint thinner to one gram of paint or it would be one one teaspoon of paint, two teaspoons of thinner, or anything like that. So you can just do the math for what like what you're doing. But this paint is really really thick, so that's why I mix it two parts. Um, if you're using like a really uh, like a no like a two millimeter needle, I would definitely mix it maybe three parts paint or two and a half parts. Oh, two and a half parts uh, thinner, not paint. Two and a half parts thinner one part paint because this stuff is really thick and i'm i'm using the 0 0.5 needle but anything smaller than a furry i would dilute it i, I would actually dilute it more if you can see there's a consistent consistency of it at um, two to one it's pretty thin and that's how i like it i actually sped this part up so i'm not actually airbrushing this fast i just wanted to let everyone know I just sped it up so you guys didn't have to watch a bunch of boring painting. So I'm not airbrushing it super quick. This paint actually only, it covers in two coats. So I usually put one tack coat, let it dry for about five minutes, and go in for the second coat, a little bit heavier. As you can see, it completely covers. You don't need more than two coats with this paint. As you can see here, two coats completely covers. It's really, really opaque paint. 
So don't overdo it. If you start piling the paint on here, it will crack. This stuff actually airbrushes so good. I'm actually really surprised. The airbrush is just like a Amo Meg. Um, it goes, lays down really good. The whole time I airbrushed this paint, I didn't get tip dry one time. And with uh, any other crap of like uh, acrylic craft paints and stuff, tip dry is a big problem. But with this paint, I didn't notice any tip dry. I'm also airbrushing this paint at 18 PSI. Start off with this one. It's a primary Margenta 2. This is no primer on it, just plastic spoon. That's what it came out like. These are really nice colors. And they go on, they're like a satin almost, but they're really smooth. They don't feel like a matte color. So that, that one went on really good. Next one here, we got this color is cadmium red. I don't know if this actually has cadmium pigments in it, but cadmium is used to recharge nickel batteries which is pretty cool this one has no primer on it went on smooth they're like satin i don't know if you can see that they're like a satin finish it don't say anywhere on here what kind of finish they are it don't say matte or satin or gloss or anything like that but it's like a satin finish really nice color i really like this color a lot here it is over gray primer so you can see the different colors here. That's way darker over the uh, primer. These do need a top coat or a clear coat of some sort, some kind of barrier to seal them, because they do scratch. As you can see here, watch. So they do scratch, but a lot of acrylics scratch. This is primary yellow. Is that turned out really really like this color as well these paints went on so smooth i really liked how the airbrush and the cleanup was really easy cleaned up really nice there's that yellow one we got primary siren this is over gray primer this is over white spoon really really like this color as well that's nice blue These went on, like I said, so great and smooth. The pigments are in these are really, really fine. So they're not rough like uh, some craft paints. Then we got bright yellow green. I sprayed a lot of the, these different colors. This one, this actually gave me a little trouble going on. And it won't go on good. So, but after uh, a few coats, it started, you know, looked pretty good. So for 83 this these cost 83 cents a piece if you break it down because it came in a 12 pack it cost it ten dollars a piece ten dollars for the pack you get 12 milliliters but you have to thin this two parts thinner one part paint so you get 36 milliliters for 83 cents well and to me is you get 23 milliliters for uh four dollars these remind me of a lot of these paints remind me a lot of Amo Mic paint acrylic paint here. They spray just about the same as Amos, and they're just about as tough. I mean, they do scratch, but so does Amo. These need you know a, some sort of coat. So it's pretty cheap for pretty decent paint. Like I said, the pigments is really fine in here because they're um, artist paint. They're not like regular craft paint like these. It ain't craft paint like this. The pigment is way uh, finer in these than this. So this is basically is what these are. If you spray this, pretty come out just about the same. These aren't completely matte. They're pretty much satin as well. They look like just look like this. So. Hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully I could help you. These are really nice. And you can, like I said, these are primary colors. So you can mix any color you want. Any color in the color chart, you can make mix with these. So, I, so if, we're, uh, if you, you can't find a color you really like and, and you use a, a lot of acrylic paints, 
you can mix them. Like the like this craft paint, it's bright yellow. It's not, this is primary yellow. You can see the color difference. So if you try to mix this with any color to get like on the color chart, it won't work. It'll come out a little different shade because you have to have primary colors. Thank you for watching this video and hopefully it was helpful for you. If you made it this long, thank you very much. Have a good day.